In this video, you shall understand diode amplitude modulator. The name tells you diode amplitude modulator. We are going to do the amplitude modulation AM using diode. That is what we call it as diode amplitude modulation. Here in this picture, you can see you can observe that we have three parts in the given circuit. The first part is your resistive network. Okay, R1, R2, and R3. R1, R2, and R3. And you have a diode in this. That is why it is called as diode amplitude modulator. And you have LC tuned circuit. This is called as LC tuned circuit. It is called as LC tuned circuit. Okay, so these are the three important parts of your diode amplitude modulator circuit. Once we understand this, we are uh, we shall go in detail with respect to the each part of the circuit. The first part is the resistive network, resistive mixing network. The second part is your diode. The third part is your LC tuned circuit. Further, we shall understand each part of it. First one is okay. First one is resistive mixing network. What is the what is function of resistive mixing network? We shall understand the first point. Okay, the there are three resistors in the circuit. Okay, and there are three resistors in the circuit. R one, R two, and R three. Okay, find what happens then. Modulating signal is applied to R1, carrier signal is applied to R2 and the resultant signals are applied to R3. Modulating signal is applied to R1. This is a modulating signal that is applied to R1. Carrier signal is applied to R2 and the resulting signals, the mixing of these two signals, R1, uh, the signal, modulating signal and carrier signal, the resultant is applied at R3. This is what happens uh, at the resistive mixing network. Okay, so then we go to understand. So once we add all those signals, what happens here? Uh, then it goes to diode. Okay, once we mix up all these signals, R uh, signals through R1, R2, and they apply uh, appear at R3, and those signals will go to diode. What is the function of diode? Diode conducts only during the positive half cycles. Diode only conducts during the positive half cycles and uh, it, it is forward biased during positive half cycles the diode is forward biased and hence it conducts during the negative half cycle during the negative half cycle diode is reverse biased and hence it does not conduct then we go to understand the lc tuned circuit what the function of the lc tuned circuit you can see the you can observe the output at the diode okay the output at the diode can be observed like this or or uh, can be understand like this only positive half cycles are being absorbed the at the output of the diode the negative half cycles are not available because during negative half cycle diode does not conduct then we go to understand what is lc tuned circuit what is the function of lc tuned circuit when each positive pulse when each positive pulse is applied to the lc tuned circuit it produces a negative pulse okay when each positive pulse is applied to the lc tuned circuit it produces a negative pulse okay at the diode end at the end of the diode we are going to get these positive pulses when i apply each positive pulse what happens i'm going to get a negative pulse at the end of the, at the lc tuned circuit by the lc tuned circuit as a result the amplitude modulated wave is obtained at the output of the circuit because of this the amplitude modulated wave as shown in the figure is obtained at the end of the circuit or at the output of the lc tuned circuit so here you can observe this amplitude modulated wave here the amplitude modulated wave is going is con consisting of the modulating signal okay red color uh, the red signal whatever that i am showing you is the modulating signal and the purple one signal is what we call it as carrier signal here you can clearly observe that 
the characteristics of the carrier wave which characteristic of the carrier wave is being changed here the amplitude of the carrier wave is changed okay the purple color is the carrier wave okay this is your carrier signal as you can observe here the purple color signal whatever that we have is what we call it as the carrier signal and the red color signal whatever that we are able to observe is called is what we call it as modulating signal okay so the characteristics amplitude characteristic the characteristic which is changed uh, here is amplitude the uh, amplitude of the carrier signal is changed the amplitude you can observe here okay the amplitude of the carrier signal is changed according to the instantaneous values of the modulating signal and that is why this is called as amplitude modulation and the amplitude modulation can be achieved by using achieved by using such a circuit which is called as diode amplitude modulator